What are you expecting to see on Friday when the deadline for nurses to be vaccinated against COVID-19 kicks in? I uh, guess a few things. I'm certainly expecting that, unfortunately, we are going to lose some of our uh, health care workers, which, uh, as the piece you just played uh, correctly mm. points out, we're not currently in a surplus of health care workers. On the other hand, uh, uh, Quebec is uh, far from the only jurisdiction to do this. Uh, your, uh, you and your viewers are probably aware that um, uh, America has just announced as well that they are going to be making this mandatory for all federal workers, which including in their Medicare and Medicaid systems totals up to something like 100 million uh, uh, workers. So uh, Quebec is certainly not going it alone here. And at the end of the day, the way I see this is that vaccination is by far one of the things that we can do to protect our individual health, the stability of a health of a healthcare system, and the vulnerable people who, by definition, are the ones who most need this uh, healthcare system. Yeah, a couple questions on that, though, because the frontline healthcare workers are the ones who, in theory, see what it, COVID is doing to our communities and to society. Is it surprising to you that a percentage of them still remain vaccine hesitant? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a surprise. Certainly, it appears to be low uh, percentages. I think uh, when this all uh, comes out, I think we're going to see that it's probably uh, remain, uh, remains in the single digits. And it's certainly unfortunate. I would hope that by now, when uh, healthcare workers have seen what COVID can do to individuals mm -hmm. as well as to entire hospitals, that uh, they would accept and believe the science behind why these vaccines are both uh, uh, safe as well as effective. On the other hand, I think it's unreasonable to ever expect 100% of people to believe anything. And I'm just hoping that these uh, numbers are going to be as small as possible and that those who are in the process of getting vaccinated uh, will have an absolute minimum of time away before they can uh, come back and help uh, shore up our system. Quebec is going one step further, though, doctor, not only suspending without pay, but now uh, suspending permits to practice, does that seem like a, a larger stick needed uh, than necessary? That's an interesting question. I think the argument could be made that they could have started just with the suspension with their pay until such time uh, as uh, proof is uh, provided and then hold back on the suspension of license for those who still uh, refuse. That would have been another uh, direction. I believe that's the direction that some other jurisdictions have done. On the other hand, Quebec is really I think making a strong statement by doing this, saying, look, this is what we expect of our healthcare workers, of our healthcare system, to do what they can to look after themselves, their colleagues, their vulnerable patients. And uh, I think they have some justification. I, I believe that this is probably going to result in some grievances mm. and lawsuits that are going to uh, be with us for quite some time. Yeah. Well, I always appreciate you coming on the program to talk to us, doctor. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thanks, okay. Travis.